God is so good because he gives you revelation at the perfect time. So I had posted a video of one of the revelation dreams that I had back in high school, right? And I thought in the dream that I was marked with the seal of God, right? And this was one of the things I was taught about at the time and I just never questioned, okay? But if with further research, <laughs> found out that I was not marked with the seal of God, but what was actually on my forehead was the mark of the beast, okay? It was like Hebrew letters or something, and it was like a stamp smack on my forehead, huge. <laughs> and I'm probably going to remake the video tomorrow in detail so you guys get the right interpretation of it. But the first version I posted, I took it down. Because we're not going to always get things right the first time, but God will give us revelation on his time. And mind you, I had this dream almost seven, eight years ago, okay? <laughs> I want you guys to know that the mark of the beast is not a spiritual thing. It's physical. It's literal. It's like burned into your forehead. It's like once you get it, you cannot get it removed. Okay, so in this revelation dream, this is how it started. I woke up and it was a normal day. I looked out the window sky was blue everything was fine then i looked down the hill which is at the bottom of my old neighborhood there was a cul-de-sac right and when i looked it was like immediately something hit the ground and made this huge abyss and when it did all this smoke had came out of it and literally turned the sky red and black okay so when I seen this, I had got away from the window and I had went and looked in the mirror and it was just me, right? So I go back to the window and when I go back to the window, there were now black SUVs lined up in front of every single house. And from my understanding while I was in the dream, you had to get into these SUVs to go anywhere, okay? So I went back to the mirror and when I looked in the mirror again, there was this huge mark on my forehead it was like a symbol and it was stamped smack on my forehead um it was literally there it looked like it was burned into my skin okay and then i turned to my right like as if i was about to like leave my room and my family <laughs> was still there which at the time was not surprising to me because none of us were doing what we were supposed to do even though we were claiming to be christians <laughs> But anyways, I guess I end up leaving the house, getting into this SUV and leaving the house. And I end up going to some like financial assistance building. And when I tell you, when I stepped out that car, when I tell you that it was pure chaos, like the sky was red and black, there were like literally trash cans on fire, just every people were running back and forth and screaming. You could hear just gunshots like it was complete and utter chaos and because i had this mark on my forehead i was able to receive some type of assistance whatever assistance that i needed when i went into this building and then they took me in some room and i woke up okay so in revelation 9 it does talk about an abyss or a bottomless pit and it does explain how um, when a star fell from heaven, it hit the ground and this this bottomless pit was created. Smoke came up and it turned the sky red and black. So the reason why I know the mark that was on my forehead is not the seal of God and it actually was the mark of the beast is because I know more now about what is going to happen to Christians than I knew before. If this was the seal of God, I wouldn't have been able to get any type of help, okay? I would have been persecuted on the spot, okay? <laughs> but that didn't happen. So this was in fact the mark of the beast. That's why I was able to receive whatever assistance I was needing to receive at the moment. 